As the nationwide baby formula shortage continues, prosecuting agencies in San Diego County are now warning of the consequences of price gouging. ABC 10 News reporter Mimi Alcala explains this comes after an executive order issued by the governor on Tuesday. It's something we've been monitoring very closely. This executive order issued by Governor Gavin Newsom this week prohibits sellers of baby formula from charging a price 10% greater than the price they charged back on February 17th. It comes as the nationwide formula shortage continues. Now both the San Diego County DA and the city attorney's office are warning they will be going after price gougers. Violators could face hefty fines and even up to six months behind bars. They can be charged with criminal penalties. They can be charged with civil penalties. Uh, we have authority under the uh, California's unfair competition law to bring an unfair competition law lawsuit against enforcement action against uh, a business that is doing that. And we can get $2,500 in civil penalties for every violation. Mark Ancorn is the senior chief deputy city attorney for the city of San Diego. He says in the early days of the COVID-19 pandemic, hundreds of complaints were coming in reporting price gouging on hard to get items. But he says investigators learned many businesses were also dealing with higher prices. And as our investigators went out and uh, talked to some of the shopkeepers, some of the uh, grocery stores, we found out that they were having their prices increase and they actually um, reduced their profit margin so that they could make sure that their customers had these necessary uh, food and toilet paper and personal protective equipment. Both the DA's office and the city attorney's office say they have not yet received any complaints of suspected formula price gouging locally, but they are encouraging people to report anything suspicious. I'm cautiously optimistic. Um, hopefully this will be the same as it was two years ago. Mimi Alcala, ABC 10 News. We have all of the information to report a tip or a complaint to both the DA's office and the city attorney's office on our website, 10news.com.